those who become are those who never settle. They know that there is always a better and greater version. Very powerful. Who are the beneficiaries of your solutions? Can I tell you? Every mandate and any call, whether in ministry, whether in business, there, there are targeted beneficiaries that you must understand. It can be an age range, it can be a vision, it can be a gender. You have to know your clientele. I know those God has sent me to. Every time I see people who need encounters and revival in their life, every time I see people who have gone down spiritually, you are calling for my attention. Every time I see someone who has not been saved, you have not encountered Jesus, you are calling for my attention. Every time I see someone who is spiritually down, there is no fervency, no fire, no appetite for spiritual things, you are calling for my attention. Everywhere I see demons oppressing people, you are calling for my attention. Don't invite me just show me someone oppressed that is my invitation based on the mandate show me someone who is sick that needs the demonstration of the power of God show me a territory that needs revival and fire you are calling me question what calls you there are many people who do not know what calls them what calls you for some of you you have been raised as kingdom financiers that everywhere you see poverty and lack and the house of God suffering, something should call you. But you are not able to create any system to be excellent. Why? God cannot even use you to be a kingdom financier because you do not know the beneficiaries of your solution. Don't downplay what you are hearing. We have a lot of politicians here. When they make you a house member, you are not a house member of Nigeria. You are not a house member or a senator. They, 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 they define a region. Is that true? And your, your assignment principally is to that region. Who are the beneficiaries of my solutions? So that you can invest your time not knowing this will help you will make you build wrong systems you are going to be ministering to people you are not gifted for people you are not graced towards are we together now very very important i sing i'm not ignorant as far as music is concerned i was once a music director but my call is not to be a worship minister to go to the nations so i will sing but i will sing while i am preaching there is nobody who has invited me to come and sing a special number yet if you invite me i must almost always sing why because that gift can find expression as a subset of the bigger picture are we together now in the name of jesus christ i pray for you sincerely from this night may god lead you to find those who are the beneficiaries of your anointing the beneficiaries of your call that that gift that he put within your spirit you must find those you are sent to please sit down man of god listen there are many people today who are genuinely called of god but they have not been able to identify those that god put the solution in them for there is, respectfully speaking, there, there is a ministry called the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship. How many of you know that ministry? Now, do you know that that is a powerful ministry that has changed lives? The ministry came targeted to business people and people of influence because the, the founders discovered that it was difficult to minister to people of influence. So the whole idea is to evangelize people and keep them on fire for God and then to use their influence for kingdom come. That is what defines that ministry. You will not see full gospel businessmen having a deliverance service or going around um, having a crusade from city to city. But you will see them hold a meeting with only 30 people. And based on the definition of their ministry, they are highly successful. The blind pursuit for general results that creates competition, creates frustration, is because we have not defined 
There are businesses that do not have more than 100 clients, yet they are billion naira and billion dollar businesses because the nature of the business, it does not serve everybody. Is that true? Who are the beneficiaries of my solutions?